Hey guys, you're watching the video or Slayer of MCA. Now today I'm making this video uh, to explain or to um, um, just tell you guys some of some of the cards that were ever released by the Wizards of the Coast. Now this is because some of you guys requested this video, so um, you know I'm doing this for you guys. Now um, this is just um, so as you guys can see from the title of the video, I'm just going to be explaining all of the cards ever released by the Wizards of the Coast. But it's just going to be the mainstream card, so I'm not going to be talking about any Black Star promos, Best of promos, or any other uh, promotional cards. It's just going to be the mainstream, the mainstream cards, such as like base set and etc. So um, this is like um, this is to my knowledge and uh, to my research. I did research on this after you guys wanted me to do a video of this. So um, I'm just going to be so this is basically a mini history. A little lesson about uh, Pokemon cards. So, um, without further ado, let's begin. So, um, I don't want any like comments saying, "No, you said this wrong. You said this right." Because I'm pretty sure I got this right. Um, I checked two or three sources, some four or five for different sets. So yeah, without further ado, um, let's begin with. So the first Wizards of the Coast set is a base set, and there's a hundred and Two cards out of 102 and it was released in December the 12th of 1998 and uh, this is the only set without a set logo or symbol so here's a base set card it's Pidgeotto and it's a rare card you can see it, the um, from the set number there's a uh, hundred and two cards and see there's no set symbol here at all not like the um, not like all the other sets so yeah base set and um, this is one of the old, old, old school sets that everybody always loves collecting and talks about. And um, yeah, so next set it was released was a uh, jungle, jungle set in June 16th, 1999. If uh, some of my fans might know that June 16th is indeed my birthday. So yeah, so um, the symbol of jungle represents a vile plume. And um, Due to it being a small set in Japan, the English set started having a hollow and non-hollow versions of the rare cards so that the set will actually be big enough to be called a set and to have collecting purposes. And so um, this this set was the, so the second set started the old trend of like a rare card and then the same rare card but in hollow version. So here we have a um, Vile Bloom and a Vile Bloom symbol down there. I don't know if you guys can see the... Uh, the similarity, so the top, the the red bit of the vile plume is actually this bit, just represents jungle. And then next, but next bit is a fossil set. Now there's 62 cards out of 62, and it was released on October the 8th of 1999. Now um, its symbol is that of an Aerodactyl's hand, and uh, one of the goals of the set was to complete the first 151 species of the Pokemon, um, in the form of trading cards. So they want to finish from Bulbasaur, from number 1 through to Mew, 151. Now some of you guys might say, oh, what about Mew? It's 151. It's not in any of the set. Well, yes it is. Um, in Japan, it was released along with the Fossil set. But in the English version, it was uh, set aside as a Black Star promo. And it's known as the smallest standard set up to date. Now another thing that I'm going to tell you guys is... Um, this entire thing, I'm going to be basing this, the release dates, the card sets, and all the other information about the sets are based on the English release, not the Japanese. And yeah, so let's carry on. Um, Team Rocket. Now, Team Rocket has 83 cards out of 82. Now, that that's the... Um, oh, I forgot. Um, so for Fossil, here is an Aerodactyl. If it'll focus. An Aerodactyl's hand, that's a symbol. And yeah, 62 cards. It's regarded as a smaller set. Pretty cool. Now, next up is uh, Team Rocket. Now, 83 out of 82. It was released on April of 2000. Now, some of you guys might think 83 out of 82. Did it? Doesn't that mean there's only 82 cards in the set? How come there's an 83rd card? Well, the 83rd card is a secret rare, which now um, is pretty normal nowadays. But when the first reduced... Uh, introduced a secret rare. It was Dark Raichu, so its number was 83 out of 82, and um, it's the first set to introduce Dark Pokemon, and the symbol is the R for Team Rocket. So you can see in this like Dark Charizard card, 
that there's this R, which is the Team Rocket R. The stuff, the set is called Team Rocket, so pretty nice. Now, next set we have is a Gym Heroes. Now, Gym Heroes, the symbol is an um, amphitheater with a black stage and white tears. Now, amphitheater, just think of like a movie theater, but back then in the Roman days, amphitheater, it's just like two theaters combined into one. So, like one theater, one theater, shove them together. So, everybody watches around the middle, just like how people used to watch people die in um, the Roman times and in, in those Coliseum, Col Coliseum things. That's how, yeah, I think that's how you call it. So, um, it's the first set to introduce a layout change for the for the TCG, and it's the first set to introduce owners Pokemon and Stadium cards, and it focuses on Brock, Misty, Lieutenant Surge, and and Erica, which is the first four gym leaders. So um, so you can see that there's a there's a black stage there and white tears around it, and um, yeah um just just another extra thing is that it also focuses on Rocket Scyther. So like, not, I mean, what I'm talking about, Rocket Scyther, um, so it's not only just the gym leaders, they also focus on Team Rocket Pokemon, and you get this little symbol, and you can see the layout change is different. They, they, they no longer, like, describe the Pokemon down here, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And next up is a gym challenge, and um, 132 cards as well. Oh, I forgot the I forgot to write it in the release date, but it's pretty similar to Gym Heroes, and um, the symbol is the same thing, an amphitheater with a white stage and black tier, so opposite to that of Gym Heroes, and it focuses more on Sabrina, Koga, Blaine, and Giovanni, which are the last four gym leaders in the first generation, and so this set was originally combined with Gym Heroes in Japan, so there were one like two combined together was one biggest set with 264 cards. But later on, they um, decided to split it up in, in, um, in English. So here's Koga's Bidru, and that's the symbol for Gym Challenge. And yeah, pretty nice. Now there's a um, base set too. It's regarded as a standard set as well, but um, it's just mainly a repetition of uh, base set, jungle set, and fossil set. So no new cards were introduced, so that's why... Um, it's, it's regarded as a set, but no nobody made new cards. Like Pokemon didn't make Pokemon USA or Wizards of the Coast didn't make new cards. They just reuse it to make more money. So yeah, so here's a base set, and the symbol is just a two for base set two, um, and a Pokeball in the middle. So that's the end of the first generation, and uh, afterwards we have the introduction of a second generation. Which is the Neo Gen, uh, which is a uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver, or now everybody knows that it's Hot Gold Soul Silver. Now we start off with um, Neo Genesis. Now Neo Genesis has 111 cards, and it was released on October 2000. And um, the symbol is a pair of stars, and it introduces second second generation Pokemon from Johto along with. Um, a new two two new types of Pokemon cards, uh, Darkness type and Metal type Pokemon, and again there is a layout change. The HP was changed from red to black, and they're smaller. And um, from this set, Neo Genesis, two cards were banned, and there were uh, Sneasel and Slow and Slowking because um, everybody started using those cards because they were just like ownaging cards. So yeah, um. Here is uh, Kingdra of Neo Genesis. You can see that it's a uh, black HP compared to the red back in the base set, uh, base set two, and the rest of the other sets. And the uh, the uh, HP sim HP symbol and number is significantly smaller. Don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it in real life. Um, if you guys have any of these cards, feel free to have a look. Um, next up, the eighth set. If you're not, if you're counting the base set two, then this is the ninth set. It is a Neo Discovery. Now it has 75, 100 and, it has only 75 cards. And it's, it was released on June 2001. And uh, it, is a, it has a symbol of a Mayan temple. And it's the first set to introduce uh, the unknown cards from um, Hot Gold or Gold and Silver. So here we have a Hitman on top. And you can see the symbol for Neo, uh, Neo Discovery is a Mayan temple. So yeah. Um, next up, we have 
the southern islands now this is not known as a standard set but people still think of it as a set um the reason that it is not regarded as a standard set is because first of all it has 18 cards um the symbol is a palm tree and um to get these cards that you don't get them in booster packs that's why you don't really think of it as a standard set because it's sold as a complete set you just buy the whole set and um every um a, a very very neat bit of the set is every illustration like all of the pictures of the cards um if you put them all together it forms a single larger image so it's it's just like they they just took a picture and they cut it they cut it all up and then they just put it in like pokemon cards yeah so um that's why it's not regarded as a standard set mainly because you don't buy booster packs to get it and when you buy the when you buy those southern southern island cards you get the whole thing not just one so yeah uh, i don't have cards for that so i don't know i i think i do but i just can't find it at the moment so next next up we have a uh, neo revelation now neo revelation um it was released on october 2001 and there's 64 cards and the symbol represents the departure of uh, suiku ente and raiku from the burn tower in the storyline or the the enemy series now it uh, finishes the release of all second generation Pokemon in the TCG, and it was first set to introduce Shining Pokemon. So here I have from the uh, Neo Revelation set a Shining Magikarp. You can see that one, two, and three are uh, it just represents the three legendary dogs trying to es uh, escaping from the Burn Tower, and yeah, it's it's also the first set to introduce Shining Pokemon. In this set, there's Shining Magikarp and Shining Gyarados. Now next up we have uh, Neo Destiny. And the symbol is a blue sparkle, a blue and white, or blue sparkle above a white sparkle. And uh, it possibly refers to the dark and light Pokemon in this set. And it, intr it introduces dark Pokemon and white Pokemon as well. And it also has the shining cards. Now it's the last set, um, well it's one of the only few sets to ever have shining cards. Being just Neo Revelation and Neo Destiny. Now um, shining cards have a shining before their name. And they are generally stronger, and you can see the uh, Neo Destiny set symbol. And yeah, pretty nice. Um, next up, we have four more sets left, released by Wizards of the Coast. And uh, the uh, 12th or 13th, if you're, if you're including the base set too, set is the Legendary Collection. It has 110 sets, and it was released on May 2002. And the symbol is that of a meadow. And it's made up entirely of reprints from the first four sets that are the base set, Jungle, Fossil, and Team Rocket. And it adds on Shiny Full printed on the entire front card except for the artwork. So here is a better, you know, it's seeing is better than explaining. So there's all these Shining Full things except for the middle bit of, of the artwork. So that's why this 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 just a little thing that um the legends the, the legendary collection set did. So I think it's pretty nice. Now um, we have three more sets left. The expedition base set is uh, 165 cards out of 165, released in September 2002. Now it, the symbol is a Pokemon, uh, it's a Pokeball drawn to look like a lowercase e, and it's one of the largest, not the largest, but one of the largest Pokemon TCG sets ever released. And it's uh, the e-reader dot codes where you can scan them on your e-reader on your um on your uh, Game Boy Advance. And this was maintained until X, EX Hidden Legends, where they just stopped it uh, because um, it was just not that well, and they were they're gonna sh uh, introduce the um, uh, DS anyway. So it, it also is uh, Expedition was also the first set to introduce the supporter training card. So here is a, a Dragonite from Expedition. You can see the symbol is trying to be like a lowercase e, and you see these dotted dotted things. So it's these e readers where we can 